there are three methods to find inverse matrix we have adjoint method elementary row operation and using properties in this video we will learn how to find inverse matrix using elementary row operation elementary row operation is a technique that we use to find inverse matrix in short we call it ero to find inverse using ero for example we have matrix a here the first step is to change this matrix to the form of augmented matrix augmented matrix is a matrix that combine two matrices in this case we combine matrix a with identity matrix a is at the left hand side and identity matrix at the right hand side after that we will perform ero there are three operations that allowed in ero the first operation is interchange two rows let's say we have this matrix we can interchange or switch two rows for example we can interchange first row and second row so the operation is new first row is second row and new second row is the first row so what happen is there will be a change for first row and second row but nothing happened to third row so we can rewrite the third row first r1 star here means the new first row which is the previous second row so we copy the previous second row to put it in the new first row and r2 star here means the new second row which is the previous first row so we copy the previous first row and put it in the new second row so remember r stars mean the new row and r without star is the previous row so that is the first allowed operation in ero second operation is multiply row with a constant let's say we have this matrix we can multiply any row with a constant for example we multiply first row with constant 2 so there are no changes for second and third row so we just copy them here so our new first row is the previous first row multiplied by 2 so each element in the first row is multiplied by 2 so we get this so this is our new first row the third allowed operation is we can add or subtract any two rows for example new second row is the result of adding second row and the first row so our new second row is second row plus the first row so we get this so this is our new second row beside addition we also can do subtraction so there are three operations that allow in ero by performing ero we want to get to this form where the left hand side matrix is identity matrix and the right hand side is the inverse matrix that we want so in general to find inverse matrix using ero is first change to augmented matrix and then perform ero until we get this type of matrix okay so let's take a look at some example find the inverse of matrix a with the element 1 3 2 negative 2 by using ero so this is example for 2 by 2 matrix okay first step is to change the matrix a to the form of augmented matrix we copy the matrix a to be at the left hand side and identity matrix at the right hand side so we get the augmented matrix second step is to perform ero until we get this form that's mean this element will become zero so there will be a change for second row so to make this element become zero second row need to minus two times first row so our new matrix have a new second row that we will find it later and nothing happened to the first row so we just copy back the first row okay so how do we get this equation for the new second row there are some tips that we can use to help us to find this equation 
if the targeted element or the element that we want to become zero is at the nth column, so we will use the nth row as a subtrahend. What is subtrahend? Subtrahend is just a fancy name for something that being subtract. In this example, since our targeted element is at the first column, so we use first row as subtrahend. So how do we get the equation? So our subtrahend is first row. And the element in the first row that also at the first column is 1. Our targeted element is at the second row. And the element is 2. And then we cross multiply this. So first we have 2R1. And next we have R2. And the operation is subtraction. So that's how we get the equation here. So now we have to calculate the result for the new second row. There are various ways to calculate this equation. We can calculate manually or we can also use calculator. For this step, I will calculate manually. So second row is 2, negative 2, 0, 1. And the first row is 1, 3, 1, 0. And we need to multiply first row by 2. So each element is multiplied by 2. So we get 2, 6, 2, 0. And then we need to subtract second row with this. So first 2 minus 2 is equals to 0. Negative 2 minus 6 is negative 8. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. And 1 minus 0 is 1. So this is our new second row. So we copy this to the new second second row here and we achieve what we want which is now the elements here is zero so finish with the second step the third step is we need to perform ero until we get this form that's mean this element must become zero now so we need a new first row so since our targeted element is at the second column so our subtrahend will be second row and the element is negative 8 and our targeted element is at the first row and the element is 3 so we cross multiply first we have 3 r2 and next is negative 8 r1 and the operation is subtract so this is the equation for our new first row. So we copy back second row and calculate for the new first row. Now I will show you how to use calculator to calculate this equation easily. First, we let first row as A and the second row as B. And then we input the equation into calculator, which is negative 8 alpha A this is for first row that we let earlier and minus 3 alpha b and then press calculate button so now the calculator will ask you to insert the value of a and b so remember that a is element in first row and b is element in second row so first we have a is equals to 1 and b is equals to 0 so we get negative 8 so we write negative 8 to be our first element for our new first row and then press calculate button again and now we move to the next value which is a is 3 and b is negative 8 and we get 0 so right here 0 next we have a is 1 and b is negative 2 and we get negative 2. So we write here negative 2. And next is A is 0. And B is 1. And we get negative 3. So we write here negative 3. There we have it. The new first row. So finish with the third step. Now the fourth step is to change the diagonal element to become 1. And we can achieve this easily just by divide each element with itself. In this case, we need to divide first row with negative 8 and second row with negative 8. Since we cannot divide in ERO, but we can multiply with 1 over negative 8, which is the same with division. 
So each element is divided by negative 8. And then we simplify this to get this matrix. As you can see, the left hand side matrix is now identity matrix for 2 by 2. So that means A inverse that we want is at the right hand side here. So we get A inverse which is 1 over 4, 3 over 8, 1 over 4 and negative 1 over 8. So that's how we find inverse for 2 by 2 matrix by using ERO. So you need to practice this to fully understand how ERO works. So try to do some exercise. In the next video, we will see how to find inverse matrix for 3 by 3 matrix by using ERO.